there's a there's a whole uh, history of uh, this uh, interpretation of his words in uh, visual in classic art. Now this one you can see is strange. You can see the actual original of this is, is in the case back there. It's uh, you all remember Fortran and programming and all that. If I realize uh, you can program, but you may have read about it in your history of technologies. There was a thing called Fortran and punch cards and all that kind of stuff. So one of uh, Augusto's biggest fans was an IBM, an, an IBM train a petroleum engineer. So he programmed this poem in Fortran on, on punch cards. Okay? And then the artist came along and said, well, I'll, I'll double you on that. I'll take the Fortran card and give it a black background and make the dots orange as if it were Halloween. Uh, so this is this is not a, this is not the third level, not the third level of, 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 of just, a, just a black a black and white uh, poem. But what this this is the cover to another show which took place in Sao Paulo, postcards, poetics, poetic postcards. So the, 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 there was a, a movement back then called Mail Art, and uh, Brazil was a big Mail Art. So a lot of the idea that you could study. It's almost it's a kind of performance art you perform by mailing to somebody who knows you're going to get it or not. And so uh, one of the reasons why the format uh, for the issue of catalog that's been done is it's it's it participates in a, uh, in a, in a trajectory of, of uh, using media in Brazilian poetry in a very nice way. Uh, and a lot of uh, whose uh, poems end up in fact postcards. So, so uh, well, the number one case being the postcard of Viva Viva. So if, if you went back when people used to write letters and send postcards before that thing called email, um, you could get a Viva Viva postcard and send it to your friend somewhere. And not only would you be sending them a message, you would be sending them examples. Okay, so that's that's another uh, example of his. And this is not the same thing. Oh, so this is this is the the, the original computer poem in uh, Brazil uh, in 70, 75 maybe. Uh, there's two of them. Uh, one is and they're about the stars, uh, pulse um, pulsars and quasars. So he's got this he's got this stalactic paradigm in, in the seventies. And this was designed for computer screens. We had to do line programming, line by line by line. But anyway, those two program, those two poems were, were uh, done uh, for page. But uh, some computer programmer said, "Hey, I can make those. I can put those on a TV screen." And so in the late '70s, you could be walking down the street solo and look in a window, and all of a sudden you have this concrete poem flashing at you. On a TV screen with all these different effects that's on the five year old's computer these days. Back in 1975, that was an idea. I mean, it, was, it was groundbreaking. So that, that was another idea. Then uh, we had this, uh, we had this uh, other series. This is pure, this is non uh, visual, non verbal visual poetry. He calls these the profilograms, the profilograms, where he takes the profile of an artist and puts it against the profile of another. Let's see who these two are. One looks like two guys who like to smoke. Anyway, in the, I think it's John Cage and Max Gable. It's John Cage. It is. It doesn't say on the back. Yeah, I um, back. Well, it's the same. Oh, oh, right, right. Okay. However, <laughs> however, we can look at it. Let's see. Well, here's another one that I wanted to bring, but I don't have to watch. This is Tudo Stadito. You can see so on this. This is actually, how many sides are there on a cube? Let's see. One, two, math majors. Six. Six, okay. This is actually, uh, these are uh, actually the six sides of a cube. So it gives you this one, two, three, four, five, six. Kind of like a Rubik's cube, where you're, where you're figuring out that that would be that would have been 
I'd read. Of course, that was one of the other things that I quote unquote couldn't find. Couldn't find. And there's the there's that original of that, of that uh, star. Okay. I'm trying to remember who else those other profile names are. Okay. So here's Cage. Cage you have heard of. This is the pentahexagram, and down here we should be a postcard down at the bottom here. There it is. This is also the pentahexagram for John Cage. Okay. Um, yeah, if you read music, you'll know, hey, there's an extra line there. And, and what, what these are is, uh, they represent bars in the, bars in the, where I'm taking. Okay, and if you read music notation, you'll find out what the notes are, C, A, G, E. That's, that's how it becomes a homage to the John Cage. So, that is representative piece because it's got, um, the, the, the verbal is in the title, and the visual is there, and the music, You've got music without adding any sound because you're representing uh, representing through, through the physical notation. Uh, and, so, and some of these other uh, this is a case back there. So, yeah. And here's a big piece of uh, art, uh, male art, which is the other uh, star poem, the galactic, the galactic poem, which is Pulsar, which I think I saw here. Somebody was inspired by this. It's the projection in the back. Okay. So that's that, that's a that's a visual. And this is the other poem that was put on a computer back in the seventies. It was like the first uh, the first uh, mm -hmm. of its kind. Well, our friend, the computer programmer, was so, was, was so was so uh, taken with um, <coughs> with uh, many things that I wish he did that he. Um, not only he named his publications, he, this is an arts journal that came out in the Bahia since uh, 19, uh, let's say, late 70s, uh, and all through the 80s and the 90s. And the name of it is Quadra, which is one of the pieces that, uh, prime pieces for, for the show. We always like Quadra because, because um, it also has some English stuff in it. You, you can read it there, you can read God. And dog. And as, as Jaime Lopez, who's a Mexican singer songwriter, once said, if, if nothing else, I can say I love English because uh, God is dogs. <laughs> that was his famous thing. Uh, and that's, that's it. It's, of course, the basic idea here is, uh, is consent and service. There's a nice interpretation of this uh, uh, back there. But, but uh, Eric's. So much like that that he, he made that uh, the name of his magazine and put Sidati on the cover of, of, uh, of an issue. So uh, several, several, several of the issues of Kaji have it in homage to uh, to uh, Ogusi. Another of this of this nail art. So we have here the we have here the. Postcard version of it, and then the t shirt version of it, and then the English version of it, which what we have published in California, or someplace like that. Um, and this, uh, for, for the 